Let's talk about variables in the Unity Inspector. When you create your scripts in Unity, what you're doing is actually creating a component that can be attached to a game object. And if we look at, let's say, the light component attached to the directional light, there are a lot of properties that you can edit in the uh, inspector panel. You can expose properties and, and variables in your scripts as well. To expose a variable in the inspector, you have to make it public. If we click on our main player cube here, we currently have no variables that are editable from the inspector. But if we go to our script and we create a public variable, let's go ahead and save it. Go back to inspector. And as you can see now, we have the variable available in here. The directional light is actually an interesting component because it exposes a bunch of different types of properties. We have a drop down here. We have a color picker. We have another drop down. We have some numeric values. We have a true or false or Boolean uh, value. You can also attach a game object to one of the properties. And we can do the exact same thing. So let's go ahead and see how we accomplish this. We currently have the uh, age variable exposed in the inspector, but we can also expose, let's just say, a string name. We can also expose a Boolean value that will show up as a checkbox. Let's say, is alive. Let's check out both of those new properties. There it is. So we have age and name doesn't look like our alive showed up. And that's because I made it a property instead of a field. So that will work now. There it is. What else do we have? We have a drop down. The drop down menu works in the following way. We have to create a public enum class. So let's just say public enum state. And then let's give some states so idle walking running and then we have to create a public field public state current state let's create a Let's see how we're doing so far. As you can see, we now have some fields here that are exposed in the inspector panel. We have the age, the name is alive. We have a drop down. We have a color. And let's go ahead and expose a game object. So The inspector now shows a game object here. Now, another thing, another interesting thing to note is that if you change the variable, the variable values um, when the game is not running, those values become the starting values of your variable. So if we start the game, these are the values of my variables. And when I stop the game, those are the values of my variable. Now, if I change the values while the game is running, and I stop the game, you see that those values go back to what they were when the game wasn't running. So let's go ahead and uh, use one of these values. In here, we can say, Go ahead and press play. And it displays the name 
that we enter for the name. We can change to something else. Press play, and it's going to show that name now. There are a few other types that can be represented in the inspector. I went ahead and I added a slider, a vector 2, and a vector 3 field. Go ahead and show you the code. This is what the slider looks like. You declare your your field and then you give it a range. And this is the vector 2 and vector 3 variables that show up as vector 3 and vector 3 right here. Vector 2 and 3 right here. Now, as a uh, little bonus, as I mentioned, this is a component on the game object. And as you can see, components have this custom icons and Unity gives you the ability to actually change the icon of the script uh, itself. And to do that, you go to your project panel, click on your script, and right up here, you can pick a different icon. You can pick a different predefined icon or if you have your own icon, uh, if you have your own texture 2D that you can you can bring it, you import into Unity, you can use that custom texture as your icon. So go ahead and pick uh, this right here. And as you can see, it shows up right there. I think this should, uh, yes, this changes as well. So now our script has a different icon than the default. Well, I think that's all for our variables and inspector video. Thank you very much for watching.